the selection for 97 were, was, um, it wasn't quite as high profile as it is now. I was young, I was 23, 24 maybe. And people had said that I'm in with a chance. I wasn't playing for England at the time, I'd had a couple of caps. The danger was, because it was the first professional trip with a capital P, but it still had, you know, undercurrents of amateurism written all over it, but it was a professional trip, we were getting paid to go. It was so crucial that we had that natural flow of camaraderie. People like Sarah McGeekin and Jim Telfer are great coaches and had fabulous coaching staff with them as well, but they spent so much time and effort and energy with Fran on making sure the, the environment was right for everybody to gel together. If we were going to Australia and we weren't going to the world champions, if we, you know, if we thought we had a chance and the media thought we had a chance and the opposition actually thought, they, thought that the Lions had a chance, the dynamic might have been a little bit different. But all of a sudden you had you know, world-class players, lots of egos, players from four different countries coming together and realistically we were going up against a team that was so much better than us. This was a watershed moment for the Lions. The Lions may never happen again if we get written off it. And you know, we all took that personally. We all were, that is not gonna happen. We needed to upset them. And then we get the ball to our strengths in Gregor and Jerry and Gibbsy and our, and our two wingers. And you know, if we get penalties, we've got you know, the best in the business in Jenks. Our focus, was always going to be that first test to win it and, and whatever, it, whatever it takes. And we needed to come up with something that South Africans just couldn't work out. You know, defensively, we were brilliantly organised and then we played with this pace and this intensity that moved South Africa around and then they got a little bit tight. So, you know, we knew we had those, we had the tactics. So, and then it gives you this enormous sense of confidence and belief and bearing in mind the types of characters that were on that trip from a lion's perspective you know as soon as as soon as the the chest is being pumped of Keith Wood, Martin Johnson, Lawrence Delalio, Jeremy Guscott, Scott Gibbs you know big big characters and you know they're you know they're even more pumped up to say we've got this you know we were we were a, we were a tough act to, to beat up. The final whistle in Durban was, that's as, as close to sort of dreams as you, as you can, I mean that, that was insane because, because I think because of the way that the game had gone and how much pressure we were under, you know when Jenks kicked out it's just that was, that, that completely blew me away. When your name is called out, when you receive a letter, when you when the coach tells you on the sideline of the pitch that you, you're going on, on a Lions tour, you, you in rugby terms, you, you've made it. There is, there is nowhere to go. Um, and it, in very, very few walks of our lives do we ever get to somewhere where there is nowhere left to go.